think when I see you, honestly, that it, that interview we just conducted with the woman from the National, what is it, Organised Crime Agency, right? Uh, who was unable to give a straight answer to any question about how we really combat crime in this country. Mm. When you hear that, I mean, my heart sinks. Right. It's like, you know, there's so much right. to tackle right now with drugs and knife crime and so on. What, what do you make of it and what should we be doing about yeah. it? Uh, what we should be doing... I, I have a theory. If there's, now, I don't know how much money we spend on military. Um, boats, planes um, and all that stuff and the army and all that stuff. If it was me, I would, I would actually cut our expenditure on all the military by half. The, the, the rationale behind it is we're highly unlikely to be invaded by a, a hostile third party and I would put that money and I would throw it into police. A lot of police on the beat, absolutely. That's the first thing we need to do. A lot of police on the beat to make us safe, right, walk in the streets. That's the priority, and I agree 100% with you there. Well, I agree with half of that. I don't agree with cutting the military. They've £37 been cut... billion, pounds, apparently, the, the military budget. Military's been cut, 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 right? And the truth is, we don't know where the yeah, next threat the peers, is going to come from. Piers, Piers, come on. Listen, your mate, Donny over the other side, President over the, over the ocean you. there. He's not going to let... Yeah, Donny. Anyway, he's not going to allow anybody to attack us, right? If we shut <laughs> that 38 billion, whatever it is, that mm. Suzanne, in half and, and, and start employing uh, policemen or police ladies, making police being a career, it would be a great thing, well, right? But again, see, I would okay, want to be but, one. But again, and... He's got a point, hasn't he, Lord no. Chuck? He's got a point because there's a war on our streets. No. Knife crime is no. up. No, but here's, are here's, where I think, here's where I think you're wrong. Part of Donald Trump's appeal in America has been to say all these countries constantly rely on us, America. Right for financial help, for military help, for defence help. NATO, he says, we're the ones paying most of the bills here, doing most of the fighting. Everybody else hides. Most of them don't pay what they're supposed to. And now here we'd be advocating slashing our own military spending in half and, try and relying yeah, on the Americans. Well, why no, should no, the Americans good, come and help? Good. Us? Well, 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 why is that good though? Seriously, that's not why good. Why not? It's not well, good to cut that. Why not? We let's need a, a strong bit, military let's get a bit defense. Of benefit. Look, I'm. No, we need security in our homeland, we need both. in the streets, so we that my both. grandchildren, we, our grandchildren can go out, that my wife can walk along the street somewhere without worrying about a bag being uh, hijacked, without being kids being stabbed and all that stuff. No, I'm sorry, you took, you, as usual, you're talking nonsense, <laughs> Piers. You're talking nonsense, I don't right? think... I'll tell you what, I think you're wrong on this. I don't think viewers will be saying slash our military in half. I think they'll be saying we should keep strong defences, strong military. If we had a vote on also, this, if yeah. we had a vote, if we, if we had a vote, if we had one of your famous votes on this, yeah. and if we said if we would cut half of our military uh, expenditure and it spend policing. it on employing loads of police people, it would win hands down. It wouldn't because actually in other we words, have we got... have some of the finest armed forces in the world. He's we're in huge the armed we're in huge forces, demand around the world when we need to fight for freedom and democracy. And we know yeah, that, and it's an important but, thing. But you know and, what that, it, and that, but you, got, you may not think there's any got, correlation between fighting in foreign countries like Afghanistan and the security of this country, but there is a direct yeah. link, actually, between doing that. Because it was in Afghanistan us, it, that it Al-Qaeda was good, able to it? train it the terrorists that committed terror it, attacks. It, it, well, excuse me, it done us a lot of good, didn't it, in Afghanistan and Iraq, didn't it? Come on, tell us, what did we get out of it, other than a lot of deaths, a lot of bereavement for families and things like I think that? It didn't do us things. any good. I think the Iraq, okay. the Iraq war... It didn't do the Russians any good. I think they're two different things. The Iraq war it, was a total travesty, mm -hmm. a waste of money, a horrific waste of life. I think it was unethical, illegal, and I campaigned against it. The Afghanistan war is a very different proposition. We know that the terrorists who committed 9-11, where 3,000 3, people were killed, that they were trained, a lot of the Al-Qaeda terrorists, in Afghanistan, right? And so you have to tackle yeah, the enemy now, and where, they military, are, where they and are the American mili Our military and the American military didn't do anything about it. It happened, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It happened. Just like uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago, that terrible thing in... Uh, um, I think it was in... Was it in Bali? I'm not sure where it was. It, well, there was uh, an attack in again. Sri Lanka um, and there was an attack in New Zealand.
Sri Lanka, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. In Sri Lanka, it happened. And you're never going to... And, you, and you're not going to stop it. I don't care how many soldiers you've got, how many battleships you've got, how many aircraft carriers you've got. It's not going to change the price of cocoa. What I'd like to do is to cut that expenditure and let me see some more policemen on the streets in their cars. I live in Florida for five months of the year. I'll tell you what... 100 yards. You cannot go 100 yards without seeing a policeman in a car somewhere like that. It, it, it's, it, it's quite amazing. Well, it's no, completely I totally different. agree with you. Well, they have no, a different you. outlook. Yeah. yeah, I totally agree with you. And the National Crime Agency okay. has now, what, said... What, what hang else, on, what, sorry, Lord Sugar, I was just going to point in, in your defence and support. The National Crime Agency has said that organised crime in this country leads to more deaths than war, terrorism and natural disasters combined. So, you know, no. it's... Maybe, it's, it's I a, don't know that. Uh -huh. let's, turn, let's, turn to, let's turn to politics and Brexit. I've, I've felt for a while, and this kills me to have to admit this, but we could do with someone like you leading the Brexit negotiations and we wouldn't have been in this mess. So we need proper business brains used to doing... You're right there, what are you doing? <sighs> Trying to fix his shirt. No, no, you. you're right, but I, 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 it's I'm frustrated about the thing. Can I just look? To, in the interest of time, let's go back. Okay, we as Britain said to the other 27 nations that form the European Union, we want to leave. They said, "Oh, that's terrible. We don't really want you to go." But you know, if you're going to go. Um, it's not going to be on terms that you are going to dictate to us. The terms have got to be good for us, not for you. So let's be realistic, OK? There's 27 other nations saying to us, we don't want you to go and, you know, you can talk to your blue in the face demanding this and demanding that and demanding everything else. No. Here's, here's where it is. Britain, we love you. We're, you're a good customer of ours and we can sell you lots and lots of goods. So in that respect... Um, we, we would still like to have free trade. So that means, and to be fair, that means you can have free trade with us. Mm -hmm. Secondly, to avoid complication with customs and immigration and visas and all that stuff, we, we allow you to come freely into our uh, territories. You can allow us to come freely in your territories, not to work, but just movement around. That's it, mate. That's it. That's all we're giving you. That's it. And you, you, Mr Morgan, keep... Slagging off our Prime Minister as if she's done a bad job. I think she's, How used, can you I do think a she's bad been job utterly useless. When you're talking, you're talking to and a By the way, wall. I don't believe you think she's been any well, good well, either. So don't be so disingenuous. You do no, not think she's a good leader. No, no, I do. I, 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 she had an untenable task. I, she's an untenable but task. You're How can right? you you're negotiate known, you're with known, a brick wall? You're, no, you're known in the business <clears> world <throat> for someone who can be trusted on a handshake. When you say there's a deal, there's a deal, right? The, 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 the British public right. were told in a referendum that whatever they decided to do would be honoured by the British government and by Parliament. And it has simply not been honoured. Right. The, the, the agreement has not been honoured. And that is the problem. Well, I'm sorry, what's not been honoured? We said we're leaving. We and, haven't left. and she's got a deal that allows us now. to leave. We haven't left. That, that, that's because you've got... You've got People within her party, right, and, of course, the other lot, Corbyn's lot, who are just saying, oh, it's a lousy deal, oh, it's a terrible deal. And I wish someone would turn round to these people and say, you know what, here's, here's the keys to the car, you go on the ferry, you go over there and you do a better one. You know what, because I would you actually... cannot negotiate. I would love you that. Cannot negotiate and I would say, you with, with, with me, people. and I guarantee we'd have got a better deal. That you have contestants, obviously, on The Apprentice... You know, how do you handle it there? Yeah. What do you think about this new issue, which everyone has to deal with yeah. in television? Well, are you talking about the? Uh, are you talking about the twice BAFTA awards winning Apprentice? Are. are you oh talking about that program? Yeah. You know what? You're yeah, the only okay. person where the BAFTA um, award is better looking than you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Lord Sugar, we'll talk to you it's in also, just a moment. It's I, also... I want one of them. <laughs> I want one of them. Oh, can I have one I've of them, one please? Of them. No, you can't. No, you can't. Sorry. <laughs> I've got one of them. And may I also point out that that that's BAFTA statue, its forehead moves more than yours does. And there's a reason for that, isn't there? Well, anyway, listen, listen. it's a shame we didn't get one on, uh, on Sunday, but um, yeah, thank you I, I feel sympathy. sorry for your team. Yes. No, 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 thank you. Not, not for you. Yeah. I mean, the reason you, you didn't get one on, uh, on Sunday was because... Um, 
when the awards were was because it's mainly because of you. Right. I mean, the rest yeah. of your team deserve it. Yeah, the reason that we got nominations was Thank because you. of me, and the reason you didn't get nominations for The Apprentice is purely because of you. So one of us is getting lots of nominations. The other one is, well, sadly, think, I mean, look, yesterday's look, news. Look, 